Good morning, church family. <clears throat> it is um, Wednesday morning, uh, June 23rd. Yes, June 23rd. Um, it has, uh, man, this time is, the time is going by so quickly. Um, we're halfway through our summer and the weather has been so strange lately. <clears throat> I don't know what's been going on. But uh, I don't know if it's the weather that has affected me or or what, but I was very sick yesterday, um, laid on the couch all day yesterday, slept most of the day. Um, something got me, uh, but I'm doing better. But if you hear a little bit of a congestion and <clears throat> sore throat, I'm still trying to get over this thing. Um, but... I am doing much better now, thank God. Good morning, Miss Carly. Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Um, so uh, anyway, I am doing better, and uh, praise God that that uh, everything is is uh, just happens in seasons, and that we don't uh, have to deal with uh, something forever. Um, but. This morning is uh, is Wednesday, and so we uh, we're going to be praying for our church ministries this morning. <clears throat> and uh, so, our uh, we will also be lifting up our normal prayer requests that we have been praying for. Um, we have um, the praise uh, for Jeremy uh, doing better. Praise God, uh, he got a, a clean bill um, this past week, and so. Um, God is so good, and he uh, answered that prayer, and uh, so we need to make sure that we are uh, praising God for, for his answered prayers, um, so praise God for that, and then uh, we need to pray for, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, I'm having a very difficult time talking right now, <clears throat> uh, pray for uh, Cindy, who's still dealing with her back issues for Tiny. Uh, for Tony, uh, Teresa, and we're still praying for Danielle, that she would be able to get um, back home to her family soon. Uh, we're praying for Amanda and uh, Vanessa's dad and the family that was involved in that in that car accident. <clears throat> we are still praying for, for Di. Um, she is doing better. Uh, Rosie talked with her yesterday. Um, she is... Uh, Recovering, uh, but she has been in pain, and so uh, please pray for her. Uh, continue to pray for our friend Roxanne uh, for her uh, relationship with her husband. Um, that uh, things would uh, that God would reach into that couple and uh, draw them together and uh, bring reconciliation to the problem that's going on with them. Uh, please continue to pray for Stephen and Karen. <clears throat> They have a preliminary hearing on June 29th uh, for the family situation there. Uh, continue to pray for Deborah and uh, <clears throat> and for uh, Adeline and Magnolia. And uh, I added uh, Kiran uh, to our prayer list um, on Monday. Uh, pray for her. She will be having a cataract surgery on the 30th. And we are still praying for <clears throat> for salvation for Elijah and Jacob, Lisa, uh, Tina, Stephen, Angie, Laura, and Eric. So uh, please lift them up in your prayers um, that God would humble them and bring them into his uh, salvation. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. We are also... Um, going to be lifting up our, our prayer group, our, our uh, unreached people group of the day. Uh, they are the Tindy uh, of, in Russia. They are um, a small population in, uh, in Russia near, um, near Georgia and, and those other stand countries up in there um, in the northeast or southeast part of uh, Russia. <clears throat> they have, um, there is no recorded Christians in that people group. And so please uh, pray for the Tindy in Russia today. <clears throat> I apologize. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, good morning, Pastor. Good to see you this morning. Thank you for joining us. 
Um, so uh, that is uh, what we're praying for today. And as it is Wednesday, we will be praying for our church ministries. And uh, there are a lot of ministries uh, that we need to be lifting up. Um, also be praying for um, for our July 4th, uh, the Freedom Celebration. Uh, we will uh, be meeting at the park on July 4th. It's a Sunday afternoon at um, 7 o'clock. There will be uh, food and, and games and fun and, and uh, getting together and worship. But uh, the whole purpose is... Um, is to reach our community and so um, be praying for that um, that ministry um, for Sunday evening that uh, people would come from the community uh, who need to hear the the gospel story who need to hear uh, the truth of salvation that they would uh, come to the knowledge of his saving grace and and uh, if if just one person comes to receive Christ uh, through that, um, through that celebration, then, then it is all worth it. So uh, let's be praying. <clears throat> excuse me. Let's be praying for that, and that uh, everything goes well. <clears throat> and um, and we're um, also lifting up the rest of our of our prayer uh, requests, our our ministries, and uh, we are um, the helping Highlanders is is. Uh, something that goes on during the year so uh, we will continue to pray for helping Highlanders but um, we um, need to uh, pray that it um, for the coming year um, and that it will continue to uh, be a, um, a ministry to the um, to the youth of our of our community we're praying for our clothing closet our food bank our small group Bible study um, the men's group um, we are still praying for a leader for our men's group and uh, our women's group, the the women's uh, Bible studies. <laughs> <coughs> I apologize. And uh, and then we'll uh, we'll continue. Uh, we'll go on and, and we'll pray for all of the other um, ministries of the uh, of the church um, as we as we go through the prayer list. So. Um, join with me in prayer and uh, again I apologize for my voice for for everything that's going on um, I hope it's not uh, too distractive <laughs> but um, let's go to the Lord in prayer our Father in the name of Jesus we uh, we thank you we praise you God for this morning uh, thank you Lord for the cool air for the uh, uh, for the rain that we've had uh, the last couple days Lord I praise you for blessing us so greatly, uh, God, we we thank you, Lord, uh, for not only being the God of all creation, but being our Father, for uh, choosing us uh, to be uh, a part of your family, for adopting us as your children. God, I praise you, Lord, that you have allowed us the privilege of being able to come into your presence and to be able to serve you and to uh, glorify your name uh, through the things that we do here on this earth. And uh, God, we, uh, we just praise you, Lord, that, that you um, do not leave us to, uh, to try to figure these things out on our own, but you have given us your word as instruction, and you give us your Holy Spirit for power. And God, we are uh, worthless. We are powerless without you, without your uh, guidance, without your um, provisions without your uh, your wisdom and your your spirit uh, within us and so um, God as we lift up these ministries to you we pray father that that everything that we do everything that we have going on in this church ministry and and uh, in our church family God would um, would be empowered by your holy Spirit would be led and and um, and that your um, your word, your wisdom would guide us to doing the work that you desire for us to do and to doing it properly and with a good heart, uh, God, that we would serve you uh, the way that you desire for us to, Lord, to bring honor and glory to your name and to lift up your son, Jesus. God, we, um, we have many uh, ministries that are going on uh, in the church family 
And uh, Father, none of it is is worth it if it's not for your glory. And so uh, we pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that every ministry that goes on in our church family would would be for that purpose, would be for for growing your kingdom, would be for uh, for reaching into our community and and uh, reaching the lost for your sake, for your purpose, for your um, to proclaim your gospel uh, to those who have not heard it, to um, proclaim your salvation uh, to this dark and dying world, Father. God, we pray that uh, every ministry would uh, be about doing the work that you have uh, purposed for it, Lord, and uh, that we would be an effective uh, ministry, that we would be a, um, a church whose light has not gone out, Father, that we would continue to shine brightly in this community for your purpose and for your glory. God, I pray for all of the leaders of our of these ministries. I pray for those that are involved, um, God, that you would um, continue to work in their lives, giving them the desire to, to serve and to honor you and to bring glory to your name, uh, regardless of, of what's going on in their life right now, Father, but that they would uh, turn to you and that they would... Um, grow in you, grow in your, their relationship with you and understand that, um, that no matter what's going on in this world, our service to you is the most important. And Father, I pray that you would just uh, continue to work in their hearts, uh, give them the desire to um, bring glory to your name and uh, give them wisdom and guidance as they, as they do the work that you have called them to do. Father, we pray that you would continue to use um, the the clothing closet and the food pantry uh, to bring glory to your name, to provide for the physical needs of those in the community that need it. Uh, but God, uh, we especially pray that you would use this ministry, uh, use these ministries uh, to bring spiritual healing to those who are lost, to those who are dying without the knowledge of your saving grace that people that come to receive food and clothing would uh, would realize uh, that they need you, that they would realize that they need uh, salvation from you, because salvation only comes from you uh, through your son, Jesus. And so we pray, Lord, that, that you would uh, use these ministries for that purpose, Lord. We pray for the Helping Highlanders, that, that you would... Uh, uh, prepare this ministry for the upcoming year, that you would prepare the leaders for this ministry, that you would allow this ministry to continue on next year, and that we would bless the, the young people in our churches or in our schools, Father, uh, that we would uh, be able to provide uh, food and clothing for them, and, but most important, Lord, that they would uh, see you uh, through the work that's being done in that ministry, and that they would uh, know and understand that um, that you are the provider of all things, uh, not just physical, but spiritual, and that they would realize that they need your son Jesus um, in their lives, Father. God, we thank you for our small group Bible studies. We pray for the leaders of those groups that you would continue to use them for your purpose and that you would uh, continue to give them wisdom and understanding in your word as they as they teach their classes, or their, their groups. And uh, Lord, we pray that you would continue to uh, grow each uh, participant of these groups into a deeper walk with you, into a deeper relationship with you, that we as a church family would grow together in, uh, in understanding our roles as disciples of Christ, and that we would um, become the, the church that you desire for us to be. God, we lift up our, our men's ministry to you and our women's ministries to you, Father. We pray your blessings on each of these. We pray, God, that you would make these ministries a, um, a, a powerful um, ministry in, in growing your people into a, a closer, deeper walk with you, into becoming the, the children that you desire for us to be, into becoming the disciples of Christ that you desire for us to be, and into becoming the servants that you desire for us to be, Lord, that we would all come into doing the work that you have called us to do. 
God, we uh, thank you for all of those who, uh, who work in the church, who work behind the scenes, who do the decorating, who do the cleaning up, who do the, the, um, the landscaping and, and just everything that is done in uh, preparation for, for Sunday. Father, we thank you for each of these uh, people that are involved in these. We pray your blessings on each one of them. And we pray your blessings on the on the worship team. We pray your blessings on the audio visual team and and the safety team and and um, God for all the work that that goes into it, Lord. That you would uh, bless each individual and uh, encourage them to continue uh, in doing the work that you have called them to do, for, Father. And that they would uh, understand the importance of the work that they're doing uh, for your kingdom uh, on this earth, not for um, not for anybody here and not for themselves, but for you and for your purpose. God, we <clears throat> we lift up our uh, those who work in the administration of the church, Father, those who do the things that, that uh, need to be done uh, each week. Father, we pray for, we thank you for each of these. We pray your blessings on them. And we pray, Lord, that those who are working uh, in this in these capacities, Father, would that you would give them wisdom and understanding and doing the work that they need to do. And, and uh, Lord, that you would just bless them for being willing to serve you in these areas. Lord, we praise you and we thank you for them, Father. Lord, we praise you for our deacons. We, we lift them all up to you, Father. We pray in the name of Jesus that you would continue to work in these men for your purpose and for your glory. God, that they would um, serve this church family in the way that you have desired for them to do that. And, uh, Lord, that they would uh, serve you and bring honor to you in all that they do. And, uh, God, we pray for the work that they've been doing um, here in the past few months. We pray that you would uh, continue to give them wisdom and understanding as they, as they uh, finish this work. And, Lord, that you would be glorified through the work that's being done. <clears throat> Lord, we um, praise you for our, our Sunday school teachers. We lift them up to you. We thank you for them, Father. We pray that you would continue to use them in their classes, that you would continue to give them wisdom and understanding in your word as they share your word with their uh, classes. And uh, God, we uh, we thank you, Father, for giving us the, the teachers that we have. And uh, Lord, we we need to expand our, our children's ministries. We need to expand our youth ministries. Uh, you know all the work that um, that is needed and that we uh, could be doing, uh, but we also need leaders, Father. And so I pray for more leaders in our Sunday school uh, classes and in our youth classes, Father, that you would uh, raise up those that are needed uh, for your purpose and for your glory. God, we, uh, we lift up our, our youth ministry to you. We thank you for all of those who are involved in uh, working with our youth and and training up our youth and teaching them about the truth of your word. God, I pray that you would uh, continue to work through them and through and to uh, give them wisdom and understanding as they as they um, teach our young people uh, the truth of your word, that they would uh, help our young people to see and understand the importance of laying a foundation of a, uh, the uh, understanding of, of your word so that they can... Um, understand the difference uh, between the deceptions of the world and the truth of your word and that they would stand firm in your in your word and to stand firm in the faith um, so that as they uh, move on from school and going into their um, into their adult lives lord that they would not depart from you and uh, god we pray that you would uh, work in these ministries uh, to reach the the young people of our community god that um, that you would bring the young people in from our community that do not know you uh, into a into uh, a, a walk uh, relationship with you father that you would uh, open their eyes and show them that they need your salvation god we pray for a mighty work in the young people of our community god we pray lord that you would uh, raise up a, a new generation of, of uh, bible believing strong christians who will not depart from your faith father and uh Lord, we just pray that you would uh, work through these ministries uh, for your purpose and for your glory. God, we lift up our search committee to you that is uh, searching for a youth pastor, uh, a, a pastor of, uh, of children of um, uh, student ministries. Lord, we pray that you would uh, uh, just give them wisdom and guidance as they seek uh, the right uh, person for this job. 
the right man for this job, Lord. We pray that you would uh, show them who you want uh, them to uh, to bring in for this purpose, and Lord, that you would prepare his heart and get him ready for the work that you are calling him into, and, and Lord, that you would do a mighty work in this ministry for, uh, for the benefit of your kingdom, and uh, Lord, that uh, many young people would come to the knowledge of your saving grace through this ministry. God, we thank you, Lord, for um, our uh, pastor. We pray, God, in the name of Jesus, for your blessings on him. Uh, we thank you, Lord, for uh, the wisdom and the understanding of your word that you have given him and for his desire to share that with the church family. Lord, we pray your blessings on him, on his family, and his children. Lord, uh, we praise you, God, for, for this family. We pray uh, your blessings on their home and on their marriage. We pray your protection around them, God. <clears throat> Lord, help us, each one of us as uh, members of this church family, to uh, to be an encouragement and a strength to him, to lift him up, and to uh, and to help him to continue to uh, grow and and to uh, desire to uh, do the work that you have called him into, Father. Lord, we praise you for him. We thank you for him. Lord, we thank you for the work that you're doing in our church family. We thank you, God, that you are uh, still growing in us and still uh, growing us in you. And uh, Lord, we just uh, pray that as we continue to grow in our relationship with you, that we would grow more and more in love with each other, more in love with you, and that we would bring glory and honor to your name. God, we praise you and we thank you, Father. We give you the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. So <clears throat> I do apologize for um, for my voice and my my stuffiness, but hopefully it'll go away soon. Um, so this morning I am reading out of um, uh, Philippians chapter two, and uh, it is um, oop, did not mean to do that. I'm reading verses uh, five uh, through eleven, and. Uh, it says, uh, Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 says, Adopt the same attitude as that of Christ Jesus, who, existing in the form of God, did not consider equality with God as something to be exploited. Instead, he emptied himself by assuming the form of a servant, taking on the likeness of humanity. And when he had come as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, and even to death on a cross. For this reason, God highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Um, <clears throat> so I am reading out of uh, 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 Dr. Tony Evans, <laughs> No More Excuses. And this morning's devotion is, is called Jesus, Our Advocate. And he says, Jesus is our advocate. Advocate is a legal term, meaning someone who helps. The idea presented through the word advocate is that Jesus Christ is representing us in God's courtroom. When we sin, we are guilty of a crime against God. We must enter a plea, so we confess, guilty, Your Honor. But then our deliverer, Jesus Christ, speaks up on our behalf, pleading our case through the blood of his own sacrifice on the cross. In his advocacy, Jesus diverts the wrath of God. He takes the punishment we deserve. He is the propitiation of our sins, 1 John 2.2. 2. Propitiation is one of those million-dollar theological words that means satisfaction of the demands of a deity with an acceptable course of action. Jesus is not only our advocate speaking up for us in court, but he also offers himself to receive our penalty. <clears throat> Understanding that Jesus took the penalty for our sin should influence our love for him and serve as motivation to obey him. How does that reality influence your relationship with him? So without him, we are, we are worthy to receive 
the wrath and penalty that God has um, has planned not for us but for Satan and his um, Satan's followers. But without Christ and without His sacrifice, uh, we are worthy of that same punishment. And uh, so if you do not know Christ today, I hope and pray that you would come to the knowledge of his saving grace and that you would come to realize that um, that without Christ standing um, as your advocate before God, before the throne of God at judgment, um, you are you are doomed to receive the wrath that was um, that has been established. And uh, I hope and pray that that uh, if you do not have Jesus as your advocate, that you would um, that you would receive him. If you need to know more information about that, um, feel free to contact us. You can go to our website, uh, FBC, First Baptist Church, FBC, RoanMountain.com. There's information there, the information on how to contact us there, or you can contact us through Facebook if you like. But um, get a hold of us. We would love to show you and tell you how you can come to the knowledge of his saving grace. So uh, God bless you all. Thank you for uh, joining us. And uh, tonight is worship at the park, uh, 630 at the park behind the post office. Come and join us. Uh, we're going to have a good time, I'm sure. And uh, it'll be good to see you. God bless you all. Take care.